voter fraud organization. States' rights and states' wrongs. All depends on what they say at the polls. Got your rights. Know your wrong. Came away when they greased your palm. So how much cheating is too much cheating? How much cheating is just too much Americans instinctively know there was something wrong with this election. During the campaign, Vice President Biden would do an event and he'd get 50 people at the event. President Trump, at just one rally, gets 50,000 people. But somehow, the guy who never left his house went here. We have put together, I think, the most extensive and inclusive voter fraud organization in the history of American politics. Recent polling shows that 39% of Americans believe the election that just occurred, quote, was rigged. You may not agree with that assessment, but it is nonetheless a reality for nearly half the country. I would note it is not just Republicans who believe that. 31% of independents agree with that statement. 17% of Democrats. Million Americans, 80 million of our fellow citizens, Republicans and Democrats have doubts about this election. And 60 million people, 60 million Americans think it was stolen. The Democrats say no problem, no worries, everything's fine. We have put together, I think, the most extensive and inclusive voter fraud organization in the history of American politics. President Trump rightly pointed out the improper activities of the Biden crime family and subsequently he said, right. And don't think for a moment, Madam Speaker, that we're gonna drop that or stop our pursuit. This president has faced unprecedented hatred and resistance from big media, big tech, and big egos, from congressional leaders on both sides of the aisle.